Oh, hello, and welcome to Vilshanka. This beautiful morning, dusk, whatever you call it, sits upon the map. And we have two players here. It's uh, Ymiring Bra versus Fretz. Myring Bra playing as the Oster and Fretz going as the USF. Bra has locked in the Jaeger infantry and Fretz is bringing along with mechanized, airborne and infantry company. Bulletins for the players. It's all about the buffs for the AT gun for Fretz. Really stacking it with the armor penetration and a little extra reload speed. Meanwhile, Ymiring Bra is uh, going the more traditional uh, bulletins there. Buffs for the Grins, including the extended Panzerfaust range. <clears throat> Neither players have um, gone to the middle in order to lay down some barbed wire here to deny m the much precious green cover that is found on the middle. In um, And in stark contrast to, say, um, Mill Road, the green cover is in such a position where... Um, both players can actually fire at each other, you know, Mill Road has these two wells and uh, just outside of range, so it's just a um, stalemate where both players send mean looks to each other rather than exchanging uh, fire. Also, I hate this little uh, thing here, if you want to get outside and fire, then you have to step out on the negative road here. Oh well. Not much damage done. Oh, uh oh, they just <laughs> crawled their way up to the Grens and now are just retreating. Fretz, he has called in um, Pathfinders going for uh, Airborne Company. Let's see if uh, these boys here will uh, get lucky. No, needs to move them over there. I think so. Yes. The MG Gunner is mm, so fast at acquiring a target usually whenever he has just set up. Can get annoying, or rather, it is annoying if you're the one ordering the HMG. Very lucky for Fretz uh, that uh, the gunner is half asleep. He has yet to be given his morning coffee. Meanwhile, uh, you miring bra going for the cutoff. Fretz had the same idea. Hold fire, but no good whenever they're that close. And yeah, that was some bad timing here. Yeah, they lost the model without firing a single shot. Happens so often that players um, order their units to hold fire and then they just stand there and take um, take damage. Makes me wish for um, some of the old classic RTS games where you had different stances like neutral, aggressive and defensively. And defensively in this case would have made sense. Only uh, attack if you are being attacked. It's better than hold fire, I'd say. <clears throat> and that's bright. Yeah, okay. A little low there on health. The pioneers are dropping, but the riflemen here are suppressed below half health now. They're about to uh, lose everything. Uh, well, there goes the first one. Luckily, the retreat was called and no one else has been dropped. Um, Lieutenant is out but no ambulance is in route surprisingly we have early grenades here but fred hasn't had the, the opportunity to launch that unexpected grenade you know that first grenade it, from the usf it, it sort of has to be uh yeah really devastating I think the green cover there just uh, d enough damage reduction saving the grins <clears throat> oh but something that wasn't saved <clears throat> excuse me was the mg crew we're gonna see a repeat here nah it's just the rear echelons they won't be able to finish uh, them off that quickly even though they are on negative road but why is this guy doing a little turn there he was like just orientating himself towards the enemy coming towards him before finally getting the heck out of dodge. <clears throat> we have something going on here. He's unlocking the mechanized platoon command post. Hmm. Okay. 
I was just thinking if a uh, ambulance would have been better, but only really for this squad here. Ah, but look at this, Fritz taking his time to deny the green cover on his opponent's side while allowing he himself. Okay, he is getting the ambulance now, so he won't go for Stuart first. <clears throat> Something that these men will probably be um, very, very happy about, that is, if they make it back to base, which is unlikely. <laughs> He'll probably uh, keep them um, on the field have a few points maybe have one or a half engagement before running back and there it is ambulance on the field tactical point being captured that's the middle vp that's being captured but fritz going on here to capture uh, the fuel and the smoke has been popped providing them much needed cover it won't allow them uh, to actually cap the entirety of the fuel point here before the smoke's clear uh, but at least it bought them some seconds and uh, that MG is still sitting there. So uh, Just waiting for the remaining smoke to clear up. There we go and Running back at least he delayed uh, The recapture by a little bit Scout car 2 to 2 on the field. We are seeing a 50 cal being dropped onto the battlefield here probably uh, Yeah, he wants to have his um, Pathfinders on that gun Will they be dodging uh, enough bullets here to actually survive? Nope, not all, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Just as I said so, they were dropping models like flies. LMG, that's the first one of many, I assume, even though there are the option to go for G43s, but G43s on these boys here are handy when uh, you are moving a lot with your grins instead of sitting in cover where the machine gun here is definitely the choice to go also when it comes to fighting over distances now closing distances that's probably where the uh, g43 would shine as uh, the g43 barely loses any uh, dps while moving unless it's the sniper uh, rifle g43 that the global commando vest <laughs> can do <clears throat> Scout car just smoke screen grenade vehicle is temporary something. <laughs> I've did he did that smoke grenade just give a buff to the two to two? I know that smoke provides uh, light cover, so um, a um, a Goliath would actually be uh, invisible. In a, within a uh, smoke cloud since it cloaks in um, in cover boink there we go and thus the grenade package has definitely paid off here trying to make another steal turning tails and there we go also these boys are running back this time he should make get a clean getaway 50 cal just suppressed the newly arrived Jaeger command squad hmm but the 2 to 2 here is actually doing quite well. We see Pathfinders on the HMG here. And uh, more Pathfinders are... Yeah. Just the squad this time around. It's not like he has two Pathfinder squads. <laughs> uh, eight kills. Uh, man, this 2 to 2 is doing good work. It's not always that you see a 2 to 2 on the fast track to a veteran C2. Lieutenant upgrade complete. We got Sooks. So Sooks along with 50 cal and a couple of snares and a machine gun. Mm, he has little punch against the 2 to 2, but little punch is better than no punch. Mm -hmm. Oh, got one there. The uh, main gun even. Oh, misplay here from Yumiring Bra. Allowed the Two to two to uh, sit still instead of kiting as um, it got snared and now it may just go down to small arms fire if he's really unlucky here or maybe just pathing. Ah, uh, dead it is. <clears throat> uh, 
and it was just doing so well. Hmm. Let's see. Your miring bra is definitely admiring this fuel point here to such a degree that he wants it all for himself. Lieutenant is responding. We got a couple of rear echelons here who could die if he just called the retreat here. He needs to deal with this threat before a safe retreat can be done. I hope they do take a good retreat path here. Okay, they are also retreating and they're retreating over here. So won't be getting in. Wouldn't have gotten into that much contact with the Grins. Look at the map. It's looking rather blue, isn't it? <clears throat> More blue than red. At least now Fred is about to get his uh, fuel back. But a curious choice here. He's actually going for a Stuart. And he may not even realize that uh, Yumiring Bra totally admired the... Uh, the first two to two so much that he wanted to repeat the success of getting a new one but now the two to two won't be the top dog on the field as uh, the steward has just arrived at least the two to two did manage to get one kill in before um, it may just die here to the steward if it just bull rushes there we go and the, i see no escape for the two to two here but in uh, Yumiring Bra's defense, I would say that uh, nobody would expect a uh, 11 to 12 minute uh, steward. No way, Jose. Definitely not after having taken care of that 2 to 2. Uh, that was a very unexpected move there by Fritz, and it caught Yumiring Bra off guard. Mm hmm. Sprinting into action. He probably saw uh, the machine gun here. He wants to get her outside of the firing arc and he may just have achieved that. Yes. Again, the gunner sleeping on the job. Or, you know, maybe he's not quite in the same reality that we are and he has to snap back. Snap back to reality. <clears throat> oh, there goes gravity. That's what we call that guy that just died. <clears throat> Pack gun, getting ready to deal with the little uh, Stuart, the Stuart that could and would and did take down the 222. Double munitions is about to happen for Fritz, which will be very handy dandy for uh, the upcoming rocket strafe, or at least the potential upcoming rocket strafe. He has been utilizing his uh, munitions on grenades, I would assume, and of course, one weapon upgrade there. But other than, yeah, Minesweeper, but no bars. That's where I'm getting at. He is content with uh, having his grenades ready for that. Uh, surprise wipe. So Yumiring Bra has to keep his eyes open. Uh, for several reasons, grenades being one of them. The other reason being that it is rather difficult playing Company of Heroes 2 only utilizing sound cues. I heard a grenade go off. But... A lot of dead bodies there, but... Uh, eh. No wipes yet. What's going on down here? The little steward going up against the Jaeger command squad and they... Yeah, they're just being very tough and taking the punishment from the steward down there. Um, anything happening? Yes, your miring bra has gone up to his support armor cop, so uh, it'll probably be a couple of minutes before he will um, getting out that medium tank. Major on the way. Still, I'd say that your miring bra has a uh, slight fuel lead here in terms of what is stored now the other question being what kind of fuel that were on the field but we just completely missed that the steward went down here it was sitting down here taking pop shots at the jaeger command squad and yeah that pack gun just walked up there and fired a shot 
fired another shot and the third shot got it <clears throat> well something else that Fritz did get a um, D crew here on this machine gun a small consolation prize from after having lost oh no add a little more to that consolation prize he took down the pioneer squad <laughs> okay there's the major a uh, normally a good tip that I do suspect that you my own bra knows but just forgot is whenever uh, crewing a team weapon and you only have one guy left it is often a good idea to shift queue a retreat order <clears throat> oh look <laughs> The gunner didn't even die, it was the guy standing in front. Thanks, bud. I owe you one. I'll hold a nice speech for you at the funeral. Breathing room for the players. Oh, and run away. No pioneer on the squad, replacing the current lost one. And these guys are just running back. And a little firefight down here. It's nothing serious right now. It's just exchange of small arms fire. And uh, we are sitting here happily waiting for um, the first medium tank to come out. As we are getting very close to having this squad die. I was about to say 17 minute mark. But the, you know, lieutenant dying. Mm, yes, tough luck. Fred's here. This this zone down here appears to be uh, the uh, the no uh, attention zone, as I do believe that Fred's could have saved his steward from uh, the pack gun down there. <clears throat> so I'd say I didn't pay attention to what was going on down there either. <laughs> oh, the major is gonna die. The major is gonna die. Or, yes, he's gonna die. And just like that, it seems like Fred has uh, lost uh, um, a couple of the units in short succession, starting with the steward, followed by I forgot what, and now the lieutenant and, and the pathfinders. That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> Oh, well, <clears throat> hope, well, good thing the Sherman is here. I hope for its sake that it has some strong shoulders as it'll gonna have to carry uh, Fred back into this fight. Oh, but the, there's still the pack on. <clears throat> Yeah, Fred's almost at lost half of his VPs. It's not looking good. And don't forget, he is playing as the USF. And uh, while their riflemen are uh, good in the early game, they um, don't scale quite as well versus Grenadiers. You know, we have vet free Grenadiers with LMGs. They are some tough boys. And let's not forget that Fred has not issued bars to his riflemen. He is, of course, calling down um, some paratroopers here, and they could be given LMGs. Some powerful two of them, actually. Good at a uh, long distance. Close range here. The Sherman should have uh, the advantage in this particular matchup uh, because of its higher penetration value, but then again. P4 may have some higher armor value to account for that. I'm not actually sure who would have had the best chance of penetrating each other's armor. <clears throat> oh, Judge, please. He's clearly out of the line. You're out of the line. Come on. We got rules for a reason here. But rules are meant to be broken, some might say. But this is a computer game, and the computer cannot cheat, which is a lie. Just play the game on versus hard AI, and uh, then you will see it pull a few tricks. Ah, uh, again, the green cover here, denying some of the damage, which uh, I would have 
thought would have been a wipe if uh, they were uh, clumped up like that in neutral cover at least our piercing rounds here have not won them this engagement here and now the panzer 4 despite not being repaired is being used on the front line it's probably banking on there would be no at guns or shermans oh no no look at this he's trying to order them in but they are just stuck in this loop of wanting to repair the tank oh no no ah well <sighs> it, um yeah i'm just wondering if fritz has you know walked outside and then there was a black cat that crossed uh, his way or uh, if he walked under a um a ladder or if you broke a mirror recently, because his game here has uh, not been his. Oh, and even losing four riflemen there. Oh no, okay, now he realizes he only got one man left and yet that's retreating. No. <clears throat> yeah, I got dry fingers, so a little bit of uh, cream here to um, moisture my fingers. That's the thing. Um, <clears throat> I lost my um, gloves at uh, my work, so uh, I had to go outside uh, this evening and during the cold weather to shovel snow. And the cold is not exactly something that is uh, good for my skin. At least on my fingers. <clears throat> well, new Sherman. Hope you are... Um, I hope your morale is high and that you brought good spirits because uh, this army definitely needs some sort of success. Uh, double machine guns here, ready to light them up. 50 cal issued. And, you know, yeah, that that's kind of funny, isn't it? No, it isn't. Forget forget what uh, what I was about to say here it's not funny it was a brain fart on my end that I was about to reveal <clears throat> oh yeah due to the recent uh, cutbacks and budget changes you'll only be um, allowed to reinforce up to um, roughly half of your full squat size um, make it work all right yeah take care you're airborne and riflemen. You'll manage. You're always done. Oh, high explosive shells here. This Panzer IV is gonna take him down unless he's trying to uh, get him into a trap. But the AT gun is not in position. A miss. Can we get a bounce? I feel like that's something that potentially. Okay, another miss. That's a lot of misses. And, well, is he going for it? A bounce! Oh my god! This Sherman should have been dead long ago! This is not happening! Okay, now he's on armor piercing rounds. Sherman. Bounces! Stop it! Uh, oh. <laughs> we are witnessing what has reached bullshit levels of RNG. You miring bra must be kicking himself over his rotten lock. Oh, might even lose his uh, Sherman here to uh, the AG gun. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, these guys are... Yep, they're dying. They're about to die. There they are. And now the Sherman, of all things, is moving out here. He's playing it risky. Takes out this Sherman. Risky business has brought him a little closer to a potential comeback here but it's certainly not by a lot the uh, vehicle crew from the lost sherman <clears throat> is repairing the sherman but look at this another p4 coming in here with only one at gun at his disposal it's not looking good and the grenadiers are crawling in a cooked grenade was delivered but even though it was cooked it was 
not enough to take out the crew there and this sherman here needs a encore of its luck if it, it were to survive a dive from Yumiring Bra, but um, Yumiring Bra has just said to himself, no, I do not want a repeat of that buggery that he had just witnessed. What is the AT gun firing at? Okay, it stopped. A little bit of green cover there, courtesy of the... Um, Sherman wrecked, wrecked Sherman. <clears throat> Fred, he has enough fuel to go for another tank. Will he be going for a Jackson, perhaps? I wonder. I wonder. It's just um, one and a half minute away from getting enough fuel for uh, the Jackson. <clears throat> Let's see down here. Ah, okay. Machine gunner helping out the rear echelons, allowing them to cap that point as the, the boys were running back. And airborns, they were meant to be surrounded, but never meant to be pinned. That makes them fairly uh, useless. Or any infantry for that matter. Nope. Fritz is actually going for another Sherman here. He believes in the Sherman. <clears throat> Well, at least the Shermans aren't going up against Vet 2 Panzers here, which uh, gives them their armored skirts. And this AT gun here is all the way up to Vet 3, with no kills, but very nice nonetheless. Fire rate targeting, resulting in more penetrating hits. Yeah, it's just like a machine gun. Oh, I wish it were. Doink! Hit, Panzer IV, being chased down by the Sherman here at this time. It has brought the armor-piercing rounds, though they are no good if you miss. Clumped up infantry, that's delicious for the P4. Granata! Well, that was also kind of disappointing in uh, terms of uh, models wiped, or SWAT wipes for that matter. Something that is about to be wiped at these... Um, boys here as they are um, being targeted by a p4 nope it's actually staying up there so it's good it's good and wipe that machine gun but look at this one p4 has had enough and is moving in where's the at gun it is up there punching holes into this p4 and don't lose your um your paratroopers they are almost at vet free which gives them passive healing Doink, pack gun, announcing his presence, sitting down there. Now, oh yeah, let's see, let's see this. Oh, ho, ho, marring bra calling in a little light artillery here. Wiping all the veterancy on that uh, anti-tank gun. But the Sherman is like, no, you can't do that. And then it proceeds to bounce, but got a hit in. Now this pack gun here, oh, getting smoked. He's not going in. Sherman is a bulky tank, not really that fast when it comes to uh, acceleration. Let's see. Well, it's currently Fritz here who is in a little bit of danger if it weren't because of uh, Yumiring Bra's Panzer Force also needed maintenance. You know, those Shermans are the only AT object that he's currently got as the last <laughs> AT gun there just got completely wrecked. In terms of fuel, um, Fred, we are looking at roughly a minute before he will have enough fuel for a, um, a Jackson. And if Fred could see what I could see, uh, that is what your miring bra is bringing onto the battlefield here, I think he would be inclined to agree that he needs some hard punching AT. Definitely now that he's got his um, AT gun destroyed. At least Fritz got a um, triple cap going. That ought to help him equalize the playing field and even putting down some M7 light anti-vehicle mines. Just enough to stun the crew for a brief second and um, make the crew take the 
foot off the gas pedal for a while. Nope, Fritz is actually going for another Sherman. He really believes in uh, in the Sherman here. Let's just see if uh, he is playing make-believe or if there is actually something uh, to it. He is, of course, up against one Panzer IV with the armored skirts and... Well, let's see here. Good penetrating shots from the Sherman, but they are a little overwhelmed here with the, the armor and the AT gun here is also trying to find a suitable angle, but down here the AT gun will find nothing but pain! Pain! I'm selling you! I'm not selling you, but I'm telling you! Here we go! Sherman's moving in. We got radio net active. And, well, that was underwhelming. One shot did go in. Third Sherman coming onto the battlefield. Will we see a D crew? Yes, we just did. And the Shermans are feeling confident that they can take on the world. Might actually get this uh, P4, but now Pack Gun is lighting them up. And the Shermans are not getting in the final killing blow on that P4. And now they are the ones completely being destroyed here. And now there is one Sherman left, but again, it is his only AT. He's up against two Panzer fours here. This Sherman here is just getting bullied like a poor, poor kitty cat. And it's dead and gone. And so are Fred's hopes of winning this game. At least we can enjoy the fireworks there as um, the remaining ammunition is burning up. And I don't see any movement from Fred, so I think he has left the game and it's just the server that we are currently waiting for to realize that the game is in fact over. There we go, Sungara detected. Now, um, as always, I hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you did, dislike the video if you disliked it, and if you want to munch some stats, I got your stats right here. Munch them while they're still hot. Don't forget to pause if there's something that you want to study further in depth here. Yeah, here we can see at one point he had the army value superiority. Also had it here. And then he lost his uh, Sherman. And then, yeah, it just went horribly wrong. I think it was here when it got picked up or something like that. Oh, well. Resource float. Quite even for both teams. Points held. It was actually Fred, so um, was holding the majority of the map. Still lost though. Units, units. Let's look at these percentages. Major, thirty-nine damage. Amazing. <laughs> though he is not a really a combat unit, and he died quickly. <clears throat> Vehicle crew did seven <laughs> infantry damage. That was the one that were uh, left without their tank. AT gun, woo, MVP, I suppose. And vehicles, yeah, there they are. And let's have a look at your Miring Bra. His stats for his men looking solid for them. And yeah, his vehicles. Yep, so that's it. Catch you next time. So long.